Tastes good. But they don't belong in the newsroom. This just in, scientists discover that Canadian bacon is actually ordinary ham. This made a lot of people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad news. Miserable bloody Romans, no sense of humor. Which is what Dr. Ashland just said, do you, do you concur? Don't talk to it, Mary. Don't encourage it. We're just like Kevin Bacon. The only thing that will redeem mankind is cooperation. I think we can all appreciate the relevance of that now. Welcome back to the Hollywood Thumb, a short form movie news podcast. Brought to you by the parent podcast, it's just two movies. My name is Daniel King in the studio with me today. Oh, hey, I'm Birdman. Oh, hey, yeah. Hi. There it is. It says Bird, Birdman. You guys know Birdman. He's, he's on the show all the time. Or maybe you don't know. Maybe it's your first show. What we do on this show is we just read some movie news. So news. let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, you know, we didn't cover this prior because uh, really I was a little too emotional about it. But longtime friend of the show, uh, Ren Dog, as we call him. <laughs> Uh, Jeremy Renner was in a he was in a terrible accident involving a snowplow. Now this took place on New Year's Day, so this isn't yes. really like hot news or whatever. Um, but he is he's made a recovery, which is good because he had some really serious injuries. I think he was in the ICU for like almost forty eight full hours. Well, he's not quite recovered. I mean, he is right. in the process. Yeah, of, he's on the road to recovery. But it's a long road. It is a long fucking road. The uh, the article that I read earlier. That's, is it, he a friend of the show? Uh, he's, you've talked to him? Yeah, because nobody's... He's never come out and said that he's not my friend. So <laughs> so that's that's how we're going to Yeah, play that's that. how we're doing it. Uh, me and Rendog, we're pretty tight. I text him all the time, and he's always like, how'd you get this number? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, he he did sustain some pretty serious injuries. So yeah, big fan of his work. Just wanted to kind of remark on that, and honestly, didn't realize that we hadn't because we took a week off of doing the news for the holidays. And I think right. this probably took place during that time frame. Yes. Um. Do you have like a favorite uh, Jeremy Renner thing? Ooh. Uh. Jeremy Renner in. One sec, because I forgot the name of the movie. Is it with Ben Affleck? No. When he's like, I'm Boston as fuck. No. Uh, Jeremy Renner in Wind River. <clears throat> I, I really like that movie Wind a lot. Wind River's a good movie. What? There's one I'm thinking of where he's like, he's he's hanging out with fucking Ben Affleck. And Ben Affleck's like, he shows up at Jeremy Renner's apartment. He's like, look, I need you to not ask questions. I need you to come with me. We're going to hurt some people. The and town? Jeremy, Jeremy Renner stops and he thinks for a second. He's like... We're gonna. We're, whose car are we taking? Yeah. And he's like, "We'll take my car." He's like, "Okay, great, yeah, let's go." Can I drive? Uh, kind of thing. Is it I, the town? Uh maybe. Um, God, I just don't know. Uh, ben Affleck and Jeremy uh, Jeremy Rendog uh, Renner. Hmm. It's probably the town. It's probably could be the town. It's the town of Boston, probably. Fun right. fact. Uh, yeah. So anyway, let's move on to some other news here. We've got. Uh, Letitia Wright gives an update on Black Panther 3 saying, I think it's already in the works. Oh. Which I makes mean, perfect <laughs> sense. I mean... Yeah, I, I imagined it. Why wouldn't they? Hey, I got a special teaser for you guys. Ant-Man 4, it's already in the works. We're gonna make money. The new Avengers, <laughs> it's happening, you guys. So we're gonna get another <laughs> right. Avengers movie at some point. I promise you. Because it's too profitable not to make one. Yep. Uh, they're just going to update it a little bit. It'll be like Water 2.0. They've been remaking Water for fucking years. They're like, we added a little salt. It's called Aquafina. <laughs> You'll love <laughs> it. <clears throat> yeah, Ugh. and chlorine. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Aquafina's gross. Aquafina's the worst. It's not as bad as Dasani, but it's it's pretty fucking bad. Ooh. Dasani, Dasani is worse. Yeah, yep. I imagine that's what prison's like. <laughs> In my head, that like you they, have to drink Dasani. They could only drink Dasani, and they get there, and they're like, "Damn, that sounds fancy as shit." I ain't never had Dasani, and then they get in there and they drink it, and they're like, "The fuck is this?" Aren't Kinda... we supposed to be talking about movie news? Yeah, movie news, not <laughs> not bad bottled water. Look, Mountain Spring. That's all I'm saying. It's the best one. Uh, let's see here, man. We are just fucking cruising through this. Uh, we might have that's to. Good. We might have to pick up an extra thing or two along the way, or it could just be a short episode of the news because we had some long ones. It would be fine. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Frankie Muniz starts a NASCAR. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> this is serious and it's breaking. Uh, Frankie Muniz starts a NASCAR career 
as the tiniest little man to ever drive a big, fast car. <laughs> Uh, in other racing news, uh, which we, we also don't cover a lot of any of this stuff or whatever, but this would be like not mentioning LeBron James died. Uh, Ken he Blanc, did? Uh, no. It, oh. would, it would be like <laughs> not mentioning it if it had happened. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say uh, Frankie Muniz starting a NASCAR career. Who had that on their 2023 bingo? Uh, no, you know what I mean? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Maybe his family, because they know, like they knew, like that's your dream. Yeah, we know what I, you like, want to do. If you would have told me who's going to start driving NASCAR, <laughs> internet celebrity has Bula or Frankie Muniz, <laughs> just the two most unlikely tiny little people. Uh, I would have, I would have gone Hasbula all the way. Yeah. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. Hasbula. He's like, uh, you'll know him when you see him. Mm-hmm. This this fucking guy. Oh, that kid. Yeah. The meme kid. Yeah. I don't think he's a kid. Oh. Uh no he's twenty, <clears throat> that's a kid. Well yeah, <laughs> yeah he is kind of you're, a kid. He's still a kid. Anyway he's a viral TikToker. Uh you know whatever <clears throat> uh, the TikToks. Uh anyway yeah I wouldn't would have never guessed that uh, Frankie Muniz would be like you know what I fucking love NASCAR. NASCAR. I want to go love, fast. I love listening to my parents. Now I love going fast. His parents, Brian Cranston and the other, the lady. The wife. <laughs> Brian Cranston's <laughs> wife. You see that, the, like, Brian Cranston's getting a show called Your Honor? I think it's already out, right? I think maybe it, maybe it is so, out. Yeah. I just keep thinking of it like, like, Brian Cranston, Your Honor. And then, be like, <laughs> just the prosecuting attorney, he'll say something outrageous. He'll be like, Brian Cranston, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Um, All right, what you got next? Yeah, so anyway, Frankie Muniz, one other thing I did want to mention, that uh, world-famous racer Ken Block died tragically in a snowmobile accident on January 2nd. Uh, I know that we don't cover that stuff, and that's really not even in our wheelhouse, but that would be like not mentioning LeBron James died in a car crash or, or you know. Whatever. Yeah, man. Uh, Ken Block, super sad. Uh, co-founder or the founder, one of the two. I think yeah. co-founder of DC. He, DC he, Shuko? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I actually met Ken Block last year. Oh. Just briefly. Shook, it, oh, shook they, his hand. Yeah, w- they do. Cool, man. About 20 minutes away from where we record this uh, podcast every year for the last, I don't know, fucking 40 years, they have a big rally race out in the woods called the uh, Rally at the Hundred Acre Woods. And they do it through a labyrinth of gravel roads that we used to drink and drive through. <laughs> Not proud of it, but it did happen. Uh, no. So, <laughs> right, I'm just making it up for dramatic effect. That's what's going on here. Uh, yeah, I met Ken Block, shook his hand, went and watched a rally race, watched his fucking car go. Uh, yeah, it was it was kind of neat. Even though that's not my wheelhouse of things, my buddies were like, hey, we're coming down to your neck of the woods to do that. You want to come with? And I was like, yeah, sure, what the hell? Sure. Uh, went and it was pretty cool. And that's uh, that's super sad. Yeah, very so, sad. Yeah, very uh Super young. I mean, he was probably only in his fifties, I think. So. I did. I would imagine he he might even been late forties. Late forties, maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pretty pretty young cat. Um, let's get onto some 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 something a little happier here. Uh, and I do want to I do want to point it out as a humble brag. Uh, but everything everywhere all at once really really stole the show at the Golden Globes. Oh hey? yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, Kihi Kwan and Michelle Yeoh both winning for best supporting actor and best actress. Uh, I, I do say humble brag because we know you and you and I we know it's like the best fucking movie. Uh, as a matter of fact, we told you guys well in advance of the Golden Globes, <laughs> right after it came out. Yeah, we were and, like, hey, watch yeah, this. They sent me an email and they're like, we listened to your episode. Yeah, and received received you know what i'm saying they sent me a little wink emoji yeah i was all about it and, and then, then a, the uh, and then a poop the, emoji i thought that was strange well then they sent the eggplant emoji too which i was like that's yeah it was just a weird. hard dick and poop i guess i don't <laughs> i don't know what that was all about um yeah pretty uh i i although i didn't watch the golden globes because i think um which is not a nice way to say this. I think that a lot of that stuff is just a bunch of very famous, very wealthy people jerking each other off. It's bullshit, kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's mostly a, a... bullshit. And 99% of the time, it's just a bunch of shit that shouldn't have won anything. Correct. Uh, they just, it's like, oh, it was, oh, it was so, so, how, ooh, ooh, how daring. And I'm like, yeah, Tom Cruise to make another fucking <laughs> Tom Cruise in a plane again. Yeah, it's very, whoa, whoa crazy, crazy shit. 
Uh, yeah, it's just a big wank fest, uh, most of them. But it is really great when you see something that really has substance fucking bring home the gold. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's just really, really is a um, a triumph of cinema as far as I am concerned. And I'm, I couldn't be more happy for uh, for Kihi, Kihi Kwan and, and Michelle Yeoh. Yeah, and the directors of Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. The Daniels. The, the Daniels. Yeah. Uh, to get some recognition for such a strange out of the uh, box strange film but a beautiful film yeah yeah i mean so. this is the movie's over here but the box that it came in it's it's, in a different country it's gone, it's gone already it's been <laughs> recycled and turned into paper cranes that hang in a restaurant Maybe. man i will say so carrie and i watched i don't know like a half of half an hour of the golden globes yeah and the host just destroyed the uh company or the uh group that puts on the golden globes who hosted it see i didn't catch any of it you were like oh my god kihi kwan's speech was awesome so i look i watched a video of that and it's like him approaching the stage grabbing the golden globe and then giving his speech and i was like wow he's such a powerful speaker yeah he was he his speech i'm glad i caught it i was like yeah it it, it like almost I'm not gonna lie, it it kind of like almost brought me to tears. I was like, "Holy shit, man!" Like, yeah, he went away for so long from acting, came back, and this is where he's at now. And he's he's probably gonna get some roles because of that. Oh, shit, come back, make one movie, and win a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. Yeah, he, he fucking Kevin Feige called him or Feig, whatever his fucking name is. That the guy with the hat? You know who I'm <laughs> talking about? Uh, called him personally. He doesn't call people. <laughs> Kevin Feige doesn't fucking he call people uh, He doesn't make human communication He just lives in a room made of whiteboards, I'm sure Where he can connect <laughs> fucking storylines So yeah, uh, the Golden Globe host was uh, comedian Jared Carmichael And he just fucking Jared Carmichael. tore That sounds really familiar The uh, Golden Globes apart The Oh, they're, uh, Hollywood Foreign Press Association Because there are Prior to like a year or two ago, there were no black members. Yes. Nice. Okay, this guy. And he just, I mean, he tore it apart. He was like, I'm only here because I'm black. <laughs> I mean, he just went off. Did he? Was yeah. it good? It was funny. Like, he, he's a comedian, obviously. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's true. Like, it's... I'm liking, I'm, I'm loving, if anybody was ever like, Danny, would you like to host an award ceremony? <laughs> the answer is unequivocally, <laughs> absolutely. I want to see you host a, an award ceremony, white girl wasted. Just fucking. Just trash. Just for like the you lulls. Can, <laughs> you can barely get on stage. <laughs> just for the lulls, baby. <laughs> like you're wearing, you're wearing a tuxedo, well, you're wearing half of a tuxedo. The bottom half is just no like pants. whitey tidy. Just, just the tip of my penis hanging out. <laughs> Just the tip. All right, we're way off track. What yeah, do you we got are next? way off track. Uh, other news about the tip of my penis. Um, <laughs> here we go. Uh, so if you're into the Criterion Collection, uh, five neon films, so uh, from the Neon Production Company, are are being included into the, uh, the Criterion Collection. Uh, they just announced they're going to be adding Triangle of Sadness, which is up at the top of my watch list. I have not got a chance to watch it this week. Uh, Moon Age Daydream, which... I don't like it doesn't look like a thing that's up my alley, but be, only because they're like Criterion Collection. I might check it out. Uh, see here. Uh, St. Omer, All the Beauty and All the Bloodshed. Petite Maman. Uh, I don't know what that is, but that's the other one. Yeah, probably a little mammon. <laughs> that's uh, uh, that's French for little mammon. <laughs> just so you guys know. For thanks, all our thanks, French listeners out thanks, there. Dan. How's my pronunciation? Don't email me at it's just two movies at gmail.com. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Not bad. Uh, what, what do you think of that? Have you seen any of those? No, but there are a few of those that are on my on my list for uh, sure. Which ones? Which uh, ones are you like looking at? Triangle of Sadness, for sure, is on the list. That's interesting. It already it already got added to the Criterion Collection. Yeah, Wicker told me it was really worth my time. He's wow. like he's like you specifically would really really enjoy it, and that's also what he said about everything everywhere all at once. So he was right. I mean, yeah, he was. He also right. said that about the Greasy Strangler. He also did say that about the Greasy Strangler, <laughs> and I gotta tell you, uh, we still got a bone to pick. Fake, we still have a boner to pick with him. Yeah, fake 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 
dicks aside, <laughs> I got some problems. Would you say this is an average size polar bear? <laughs> Uh, okay. Dick jokes. Um, yeah, who doesn't love, love a dick joke in the news? I know I do. <laughs> uh, in other news, Ryan Reynolds to narrate a docu series about ugly and disgusting animals. Yeah, uh, National Geographic uh, yeah, docu series. That's a Nat, a Nat Geo that's joint. Fucking funny, man! I can't wait for that. That is funny. It re- it really reminds me of the uh, like the Z Frank YouTube guy. He has this YouTube channel called yeah. True Facts. If you <laughs> are at all like, yeah, I like animals or I like some sciencey stuff or whatever. Please check out True Facts on YouTube by uh, the YouTuber's name Z Frank. Z E Z E space right? okay. Frank. Yeah. Uh, fucking hilarious, man. And also very educational. Like he puts a lot of production value into them and they look incredible. That's cool. Um, also, he, I, he takes a lot of care with the script writing because they're very funny. Um, yeah, but I, I love that. I, it's just going to be Ryan Reynolds roasting animals. I'd love to meet Ryan Reynolds. And just like have a beer with him. I'd rather meet Blake Lively and have like <laughs> forty two beers with him. <laughs> but forty two beers, forty two beers. You have think, you ever had forty two beers? Shit, are you are you? Is that a challenge? <laughs> I have put down a full thirty a couple of times. Yeah, I know only that. only a handful. But uh, but have you put down a forty two pack? Forty two pack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. over how long of a time span? Like S- full twenty four hours? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, probably camping, nice. especially when I was in my 20s. Forget about it. Fuck yeah, dude. What or you how, got next? However old I am. Uh, Matt Reeves met with James Gunn and Peter Safran for Batverse. The Batverse. Dumb name, uh, but I think I think Matt Reeves can can pull it off. You know? Well, that's just a, it's not an actual thing, is it? I mean, it, no, kind, God, it no. is, yeah, but I, I hope Batverse. not. Batverse. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just... It would be oh, awful <laughs> if they were like, Batman, enter the Batverse. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, no, thank you. He just insists on calling it the Batverse. <laughs> he just loves I'm going to do this, but yeah. we're calling it the Batverse. The Nightwingverse, the Jokerverse. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he's just a, it's going to be a, uh, James Gunn, he's in charge of making an MCU type of thing for, for DC, DC. Because Correct. DC can't find one fucking guy to get their head out of their ass <laughs> long enough to go, Wait a minute! This all has got to be canon. If that's not canon, scrap it. Yeah, that's it. You just need one guy to walk around and go. I've seen the other movies we've made. No, no, <laughs> you're not gonna do that. <laughs> that sucks. Cut it. Uh, it's terrible. Yeah, that's it. It would just be like, no, it has to be the same actor. I don't care if he wants another three million dollars. We have to have the same actor. Make him sign a contract or yeah, right. whatever the deal is. Just get one guy to go. It doesn't even have to be somebody famous. Like, it doesn't have to be James no. Gunn. It could just be any fat fucking sweaty nerd at a comic book shop. <laughs> they know how continuity works. It Every- could be you. It could be me. <laughs> a fatter, sweatier nerd in a podcast studio. I would be th- over the moon. Over the moon to do something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, so so they're going to get Matt Reeves back in to talk Batverse. Now, I'm curious if that means that he's going to be leading another Batman project because he did just direct the Batman, which they have come out and stated several times is not going to be canon moving forward, which is weird. I mean, like I had some problems with the Batman. I don't think I really have anything else to add to that. I did enjoy it, uh, but it had a couple of misses in there for me. But I I did like I did like. Robert Pattinson, Robert Pattinson, Ooh. as Bruce Wayne. I thought he was a good too. Bruce Wayne. I thought he was a good Batman. I liked the suit. I liked the look. I, I overall, I liked the movie. Uh, we won't go into it too much. There are some things that I did not care for, but I want to see another. I want to see a, a second film for right. sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I would be curious to see how that goes. And let's end on some depressing news here. HBO Max increasing sub- HBO Max increasing subscription price one dollar, one fucking dollar. You want that? You want that sweet one decent movie that comes out on HBO a month? Hmm? Yeah. You want to keep watching it? Do I wonder you? if it's because of the Last of Us. They're like, all right. I, they're gonna get it out of me. I'm stoked. I can't oh, wait to I'm watch it. Uh, resubscribing, so baby. It comes out Sunday, so the day that the, we're recording this on a Friday night, by the way. 
Uh, this news episode comes out at like midnight on Sundays. I'm fucking when this news episode drops, I am fucking jazzed to watch this at 9 p.m. that day. Yeah, uh, dude, it's uh, from what I hear, it is the well, this isn't hard to beat because video game adaptions are pretty terrible for the most, most part. Of them, most of them are pretty awful. Uh, yeah. It's weird that the best two that I think I've ever seen are probably detective Pikachu and Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> right. That is weird. Isn't that weird that it's just like weird little furry guys. Yeah. You know that like you can't get a, a you can't get like even a call of duty game. That's just regular military shit. Has that been a thing yet? I don't think so. Wow, I'm surprised no, that's they, not. I'm they... pretty positive there's a Rainbow Six movie out there somewhere, oh, and I it just so. is crap. Ah, that makes sense. That yeah. tracks. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm really excited to watch it. How would you feel about maybe doing some some bonus content stuff? Like, I call you on the phone, like, I don't know, Monday night, and we do uh, 20 minutes on, uh, on The Last of Us? Is that something you might be interested in? or Monday night, I will not be available. Any night... Maybe Tuesday night. T- are you serious? <laughs> I don't know. I. That's I don't just know. something I'm kicking around. Yeah. We'll talk about it off yeah. mic. Anyway, that's been the news. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this Birdman? Uh, to the news, I don't think so. I think no. we covered uh, everything we wrote okay. down. So, it, uh, one more thing I'd like to add. I had a great bowel movement today. So really nice. BM happy about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Movie news, Danny. Movie oh, news. Uh, nope. So I have been Daniel King. Uh, That's Birdman. Please check out our parent podcast called It's Just Two Movies, where we watch a good movie and then a bad movie. Uh, It's a much longer form than this is, but uh, please tell a friend. That's how we get more listeners. We appreciate you. If you contact us, follow us on social networks uh, at It's Just Two Movies or at The Hollywood Thumb on Instagram, Facebook, like pretty much any fucking platform. But you you figure it out. Fuck yeah, buddy. We believe you. Uh, Good evening. That's just grossly inappropriate. It's bull crap. A saucy line will not get you far with me. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Stop being such a dick. No, no, it, it, it's not schizophrenia. It's just a voice in my head. Your love of the halfling's lead has clearly slowed your mind. Good speech. Nice and short. Needs more time for drinking. <laughs> Break out the ale. He's been a third. The Hollywood Thumb is brought to you by It's Just Two Movies and is a production of Blue Cheese and Bacon Studios. Both can be found wherever you get your podcasts.